Stanley Kubrick is a director who always puts his unique style into the substance of his films. Every film he made has his signature stamped on it from the first frame to the last. In this signature are many reoccurring motifs, including the lust of man and the objectification of women, anti-war statements, and violence. My favorite motif, though, would have to be scenes taking place in a bathroom. Let me explain. From Spartacus to Eyes Wide Shut, one or more scenes take place in a bathroom in his films, and are usually vital to the plot. In Spartacus, Antoninus and Crassus share a bath together while exchanging words of loyalty and war. In Lolita, Humbert Humbert is consoled after the death of Charlotte by John and Jean Farlow in the bath. In Dr. Strangelove, General Jack D. Ripper commits suicide inside his bathroom, with Captain Lionel Mandrake just feet away outside the door. In 2001 A Space Odyssey, Dr. Dave Bowman finds solace and familiarity in the bathroom after traveling beyond the infinite. In A Clockwork Orange, Mr. Alexander discovers Alex in the bathroom singing the same song of his home intruder and wife's rapist. And in Barry Lyndon and Eyes Wide Shut, both feature a husband lying to his wife while in the bathroom. I'm sorry. Is my hair okay? It's great. You're not even looking at it. But those examples are all fairly straightforward scenes that just help move the plot along. What fascinates me the most though are when a scene in the bathroom sets a stage for either the rest of the film or the entirety of the film. The two films that do this the best are The Shining and Full Metal Jacket. The bathroom scenes in The Shining are without a doubt some of Kubrick's most famous scenes. There's Danny being shown the horrors of the Overlook Hotel by Tony in the bathroom. Jack is shown the true nature of room 237 while in the bathroom. Jack then meets Mr. Delbert Grady in the bathroom and is told of what he has to do. And finally, most famously, Here's Johnny takes place in the bathroom. Full Metal Jacket may not have as many, but the scenes that do take place in the bathroom are pivotal. In Full Metal Jacket, we see Private Joker and Private Cowboy first discuss Leonard being a Section 8 while in the bathroom. And later in the film, Private Joker witnesses the murder of Gunnery Sergeant Hartman and the suicide of Private Pyle. What I interpreted the bathroom as signifying is revelations. Revelations to the truth for our key characters. In The Shining, all three Torrance family members are made aware of the horrors of the Overlook while in the bathroom. In Full Metal Jacket, Private Joker is made aware of the horrors of war before he's even shipped off to Vietnam. So the next time you're in the bathroom, think about how you could be experiencing a pivotal part of your own story. Thank you.